Afghanistan. What a carry on. What an absolute nightmare. I mean, I've never served in the army, but I know people have. And they're livid. Absolutely. They're absolutely revving. Yeah. Just leave it. Just let's let's just get out. Let's just leave them. You know. Ah, oh, yeah, the Brits and the Americans. Yeah, yeah. We've beat them. We've... <sighs> well, yeah, you have. You have, haven't you? The old Taliban or what have you. Or whatever nomenclature. I love that word. Nomenclature. Whatever, whatever you want to tar those people with. Whatever you want to call them, whoever it is. The medieval death cult that's that's now running Afghanistan. Because them Westerners, those kafar, the non-believers have pissed off. They've pissed off and by all accounts they've left a load of cl clobber as well. Left the left the uh, the Taliban a load of a load of equipment. Yeah. So not only can they run the show now, they've they've they tooled up. They to, they tooled up with the same clobber that we've got. Crying out loud. But yeah. Thing is, the Brits, us Brits, we've been we've been doing this war carry on this war caper, this fighting lark. For so long, we've even got a bit of music that we play when when it's time to piss off, when things have when things aren't going our way and it's time to like <whistles> sling us up. We've got a bit of music, beat the retreat. That's how long we've been doing it. How long we've been doing this war carry on? Going around getting involved in wars and that. Having scraps with people. We've been doing it long enough that we've actually got a bit of music to play when it when it's when it's not going it's not going to his advantage. Just imagine just just think about that for a minute. When it's time when it's time for us to sling us up and bugger off. We've even got a bit of music for it. Beat the retreat. You know. Because I'm watching another... One of my favourite YouTube channels. John Collins. And he made an awesome part. The Americans have, have come out. Biden's like, oh no, when he gets troops out. You know, people don't want us in. A bit, a bit of a D. Apparently there haven't, there haven't been any American personnel killed in Afghanistan for at least a year now but you know it's such a it's such an awesome subject such an awesome hobby horse for people to make hay on that you know get his troops out of you know, when he's... well John Collins made the point of well are you going to take your troops out of South Korea you can take your troops out of... I mean, there's umpteen other places around the globe where there's American troops stationed. You know, 20 odd years and it's just like, oh, no, no, we need, no, let's, no, let's leave now. We'll leave now. We'll even just leave. I mean, those scenes of people running or trying to get on an aircraft as it's taxiing up and down the runway. I don't know if it was actually taxiing on the runway or if it was on the taxiway. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, excuse me, but it's a part of the air. Uh, it's a part of the airport that they call Airside. It's called Airside. It's at any airport. It's where the planes are, and you're not supposed to have people there other than ground staff. So it'll have hordes of people running alongside a plane trying to get on it before it takes off. It's an absolute. It tr that truly is a hurricane of piss. I mean, 
apparently there weren't scenes like that at the at the RAF, wherever, wherever the RAF was shacked up and doing their bit. No, no, that, that shit weren't going on there. But obviously that that doesn't make good telly. That looks that's boring. On the evening news, you want to see you want you want some image that you can show to the world of people wanting to get the motherfuck out of a country. That's the narrative. I mean, what what plan? What plan is there? Let's let's just leave. Let's just go. Just abandon the place, eh? Who's uh, what? What? Out. Like I say, I've not, I'm not served. I'm not served in any armed forces. I'm not, I'm not served in Her Majesty's armed forces. But you know, I don't purport to be some sort of military tactician. But somebody somewhere. This is where. This is where. This is just conspiracy fodder. Now, it really is. I mean, why? Who, who, what, 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 how, why, how, where, what is your thinking? Mm. I mean, Joe Biden, Joe Biden is time. <laughs> he, he truly is a puppet. I mean, the bloke. <sighs> Shouldn't mock the afflicted. That's, that's a. You know, that's, that's as true as anything. You shouldn't mock the afflicted. But he's, he's not compass mentors, is he? If he were a CEO of a corporation, there'd be moves afoot to get rid of him, get shut, get get rid of him. He's, he's what's he do? He's pay him off. Pay him off. Give him a pay, give him his, give him his watch and a, and a, and a bag full of money and tell him to piss off. Because we, we can't have him, we can't have him in charge. Com the company's going to go to dogs with him in charge. That that be that be the discussion taking part taking place in. But well, it won't be taking place in boardroom. You know, it'll be taking place in hushed circles, a coup d'état or whatever they call it. Will be getting planned quickly to get rid of him because it's just 